All right, how's it going, everybody? This is 2019 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. This is Pick Your Teams number three. Already done a couple cases today on new release day. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Joe will be coming in here soon to do the latter half of this case, but we're going to start it here right now. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, this is my Eagles Underdogs shirt because a lot of people forget the Eagles won the 2017-18 Super Bowl and they are now the best rated team in Madden NFL 20 so they might just go ahead and just win another Super Bowl although Carson Wentz is rated 82 which is might be the biggest disgrace in Madden history I think like He's like the 15th lowest court, the 15th ranked quarterback. Just ridiculous. So there's my Eagles rant of the day. But yeah, I saw a lot of bad ratings. A lot of the NFL players <clears throat> were like complaining about it. I think, yeah, like Demarcus Lawrence of the Cowboys, Keenan Allen. A lot of Eagles players were saying Carson Wentz. So. I feel like if everyone's complaining, then they probably did him right. They should have kept Nick Foles, yeah. Um, yeah. I guess we'll see this year. They should have. They couldn't have kept both because of the, the salary cap. Or if they did, they just would have been really weak at other positions. But All right, that's enough Eagles talk. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. This is Ginter Baseball. Pick your team one. I forgot to show the list. Here's the list. Sorry. Pick your team three. All the non-sport, non-baseball cards. Jim, the... Non-sport, non-baseball. Pick your team three. This is my second case today. Third of the day total. Yeah, I think the biggest non-sport hit, I mean, I don't know what some of these autographs go for. I think we hit, like, a, the chemist autograph in the last case. Um, I hit, like, a musician autograph. But I think the biggest one was a relic of Thor's hammer. It's not obviously actually from, like, the movie set, but I think it should sell for at least a few hundred bucks. A lot of those kind of quirky cards go pretty well. What's up? Auto save. How's it going? So this is case three. And looks like here's the schedule right now. Uh, Joe's taking a quick break, but he'll be back soon. Um, yeah, this is Ginter 3. Up next, Ginter 4. After that, Gold Rush. After that, Fanatics. And then after that should be that Valiant, which I think just sold out. So all the minis I'll go through at the very end. There's a Relic. That is Burton Rocks, sport agent and author. Burton Rocks. That's a first hit, of course, going to Jim. Any team, any cards not representing the 30 MLB teams will go to Jim there. You got the in bloom right there, mini. All the minis will be shipping. There's Chris Bryant. 
There's many of Gary Carter. Bob Feller. There's Michael Brantley. There's a relic, Kyle Schwarber for the Cubs. Chicago Cubs, that's going at the gym. Cedric Mullins right there. There's a studio for the Twins Mini, and we'll go through all the minis, see if there's any numbered on the back. Usually a couple per case. We had a one mini in our first case of Cody Allen. There's Cupid's Bow, incredible equipment. We have Rogers Hornsby, Ryan Sandberg. Nice. There's Johnny Call. And we got our first autograph coming up. There's a chugging along. It is of the artist who we pulled a lot of cards. Drawn by her, Mayumi Sato. Nice. She's done a lot of the Tops art over the last couple years. We actually wouldn't, I don't know if anybody in here has been breaking us for that long, but. When we did our Japan trip in 2015, we met her and Kazu, who's a shop owner in Japan. And yeah, her, her art is crazy. So realistic. I'm trying to think of a set that she did recently. Maybe Brooklyn Collection? I can't remember. But that's a nice one. That goes out to Jim with the non-baseball spot. Yeah, the stained glass cards I saw on Carver Connection, too. Those look pretty cool. All right, so it looks like these are all just minis. Here's the N43 box topper. It is Juan Soto for the Nationals. Also Jim. Jim has a few baseball teams and then the entire non-baseball spot. Yeah, I'd like to see one of those box topper rip cards by the by the end of this case or the next case. Gotta hit at least one, right? And we should have some more Ginter maybe over the weekend. I'm gonna try to um, sell some of that optic out first. So maybe Saturday, Sunday. So if you're looking for the non-baseball spot, all that. Might be able to get another case or two in Friday. Post it probably Saturday, Sunday. Um, Oh, there you go. Yeah. Braves have a lot of hits then. Yeah, so we have that Team Random and Optic Baseball, which I think is almost sold out. One left. So Optic Baseball number one will probably be coming up in about two and a half hours. Fine, I guess. Two and a half hours, three hours. And I'll pack sack that, so keep hitting this camera. So we'll probably be, probably the room for like another optic if we want to do that. 
I'll post another team random for pick your team too. Seems like people like that. If we want to sell an Argonaut, those are pretty quick breaks. That's just six cards in each case. Really high-end stuff from Gold Rush. Leaf Valiant is sold out. I'll post another one of those. Leaf Ultimate is almost sold out. Four left. That's also a one-box break, so pretty quick. There. Um, what's up, Alfred? Yeah, Joe broke that one. I think he's uploading it now. It's just a really long video, so it might be another 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, we might be able to get another case or two of Ginter. If I had to guess, it would probably be higher cost. But yeah, we will have some more. For sure. At least, probably at least one case, maybe two. But yeah, we'll probably be getting it sometime Saturday or Friday, so I'll have to see what price changes and then and then Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. I think that's a good break for Sunday, Monday because Elements Football will be releasing Friday and so will Opulence Basketball. So if we do one of these huge Ginter breaks, a lot of people won't, a lot of people won't be. Uh, those work? I feel like that's just like placebo effect. I've tried that stuff before. There's a Tennessee walking horse. And there is Josh Bell for the Pittsburgh Pirates. That's going out to Derek. Derek Williams. And Joe's about to tag team this one, so he'll be coming in, break it, and then I'll rip all the packs. So this should only actually be like an hour or so. I think that's how long the first one was. There's a Vlad Jr. mini. Gil Hodges, Jackie, Black Bordered Mini, Jersey Dutch Language, oh sorry, yeah, the, 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 All those were um, sold in a separate, totally separate spot. We, I think last last couple years we didn't randomize them. If it's like a random team break, obviously it gets randomized. But sorry about that. Um, there is Fran Mil Reyes for the Padres. Autograph going out to Brian P. So two boxes, two autographs so far. Um, Jeremy, that's on our eBay channel. So it's the link. The total link should be in the description. But if you just go to Jaspie's eBay on YouTube, it should be there. Um, I'm not sure of the schedule tonight, though. So, yeah, um, there's there's a Jaspie's eBay in the chat there. So that won't be on this channel. This case, there's cards flipped all around. It's a crazy looking plane. All right, these don't have the these don't have the first names on it. That's Adam Palka, but these don't have the first names on it. So yeah, I've the first names. Sometimes the lack of first names gets. Well, gets that's why I thought. I just saw like the Cardinal Smith, and I was like, "Is that Lee Smith?" Oh no! Well, and it's like, <laughs> for some reason, I remember some of these players that like I have no business remembering, <laughs> like Adam Polka. Yeah, why do you like? Remember? I don't know why I know his name, but I know it somehow. I must have looked at the checklist. Yeah, maybe it's somehow osmosis. Yeah, that kind of got into your just head. Just gets into my head. Victor Robles for the Nationals. Jim. Yeah, that egg card is crazy. I don't... <laughs> egg. <laughs> Egg, uh, Kylie Jenner must have been so pissed. She was, because it said on the back, she was the second most liked now. That's just gotta suck. 
she was thinking she's like the most liked Instagram yeah, post ever. I think she knows what she And then she got beat by an egg. Yeah. She knows what she has to do to get to number one, right? <laughs> Post a picture of her Some, car. Something family, her house. family unfriendly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Take her take a cue from her older sister. Yeah. Exactly. The sound is great today. We didn't change anything. Maybe it's just... Yeah, nothing's different. The AC's off or something. Okay, so the, the AMG backs... The going outside. The AMG backs are different. These are sh more short printed, but no numbered cards in that one. Let's do the box topper, and then Joe will be breaking the rest. Yeah, once we get everything set up, we're gonna do a tour. Um, Jose Altuve, cabinet box loader. Once we get everything set up, we'll have a, a tour of it, and I think we might even have like a drone to fly around. Whoa! That'd be cool, right? An in-store drone? No, out out oh, store drone. I want to go from the beach to here, Absolutely. and show the path, and just like put it in like two times. Speed. And then just have it come right through the door. Yeah, exactly. And then the drone hands it off to the, this camera. Then we just go. Technology. Then we go. Hey, welcome to Jaspies and Hermosa Beach. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Jaspies and Hermosa Beach. The coolest, sickest card rippers <laughs> on the planet in Southern California. This is. We've got all the babes yeah. and all the cards and surfing and skateboards. <laughs> Extreme motors. Extreme stuff. It's cool. So you can move that one over. Um, oh, here, I'm gonna move, hand this to Nick. We, don't, we didn't need that keyboard anyway. All right, so there's that, the one. I put it on the ledge. I put it on the ledge, yeah, it's my fault. Um, No! <laughs> he had this um, and he's just out of nowhere, he's just like, oh, no, I'm hurt. I'm gonna tuck these right here. Oh, no. Is it done? Where's the keyboard? Oh, it's alive. Okay. Keyboard's alive. All right. Yeah, breaks for bros, Mike Tower. Hey, welcome to Bro Breaks. Here in Hermosa Beach, California. We're gonna go work out, drink some creatine, and then break some cards. Yeah. And there's a Bonomo. I don't know who the, who's Bonomo. A professional poker player. A lot of poker influence. Yeah. This is gonna be poker fans at the Manhattan office. Mike Trout. Poker's fans and Mets and Yankees. It'll be like a bro version of the Californians. How do you get to Jaspies? Well, just go down the 405, exit Inglewood, go up PCH, take a right at 14th, and you'll be right Wait, there. Hermosa Beach made what illegal without a permit, Gianni? Oh, I think he's talking about drones. Uh, did they really? I flew, I flew it here before, but I guess it's legal. They, you're supposed to not fly it five miles within any airport, so you can't fly it Redondo because it's a Torrance airport, and then you can't fly it in Manhattan because of LAX. So Hermosa was like the only place. I'll just do it at like 6.30 a.m. What up, guys? It's Jaspie's Drone Channel. <laughs> All we're doing is flying drones and flying into weird places. Like Gianni's house. There's a Roberto Alomar. Then that's Orioles edition. That goes to Attila F. Wait until we them. start delivering everyone's packages with drones. Oh, all you got was a warning? No. Oh. Oh. That's warning. That's Nothing. Police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Police give me a warning. All right. 
I thought I thought you got like fined or something. Then that, a, that that would have scared a, me. I had a permit for a while. I'm sure Warning. Warning. No, I was gonna get up and just fly it really early. Hopefully, no cops. FBI. Well, we're gonna pay off the cops anyway. With cards. Yeah, with cards. With vet base. That's illegal. Bribing them with vet base. There'll be a bag man that comes to the shop every week. Allegedly. Allegedly. And all in takes vet base. I don't know any police or women. Uh, King D. No, but I'm saying in the. Oh, in LA? Yeah. At least no. No, actually, I don't know anyone anymore. Cool to know, like a detective. Joey Gallo. Not being a detective, but like, no detective. Rangers with that one. That goes to Stephen Surrey. Except if it's like Mark Furman or something. Right, you don't want to be. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh, uh, the cops on the ATVs on the beach are totally chill. Yeah, they have to be. All they're doing is just like checking out girls and just riding around in an ATV on the beach. That'd be that's the best job. Just eating eating ice cream. No, but and they have to yell at people. Drinking like lemonades. Skateboarding on the. Yeah, well, they got to yell at those guys, and you, you yell at the kids who are drinking beers on the on the beach, and be like, "Hey, put them in red cups, man." I heard that in like Santa Monica, they've been having to find people who have been riding birds on the strand. Oh yeah, that's a thing. That's, so that's their job too. So that would suck. Gotta get birds on the strand. Punisher Prime, what's going on? Yes, this is the new shop. A little, it's unfinished, but the stew we were moved in. And we're getting everything, all the, just getting everything loaded up here. <laughs> I'll probably be posting team randoms for that optic after this. So if anybody wants a team, last call. There's the yeah, box hopper. That creeped me out about the braids. I was like, what? But then, so that's good, you know. They don't have to stack. Oh, the buckle up? Last year's checklist. The optic. Braves. Oh, yeah, I think, I think he was looking at last year's checklist. Yeah. Braves have a ton of autos. Kershaw box topper. Yeah, I'd be super pissed. And we'll slide this next box over here. Oh, did Bellinger hit a home run today too? I know that I heard on the radio that that uh, during the All Star break they were interviewed. I think separately, yeah, they're, 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 Yelich and no, they were interviewed, interviewed together. At the same time. And in they were the like, they, and they were saying they watch each other's yeah, yeah, yeah. home runs, and they they're like, yeah. And then Christian Yelich was pissed at Cody Bellinger for the, like the playoff home run against them last right. year, something game six or something. Just like, so yeah. yeah. That's a that's a good competition though. That's a good home run race. And it's Yelly and Belly, so it's a Yelly and Belly. The media media game. loves it. Yeah, I saw Yelich's home run today. Was which is loud, huh? loud home run. We've got Johnny Cueto for the Giants. That will be for Ryan Redman. And the Gigantes. These cards are kind of slippery. Yeah, they're very. There's the Siberian Husky. If you don't angle them like it perfectly straight, yeah. they're gone. <laughs> yeah, it tips over. It's done. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Right. <laughs> There's Victoria Falls. Yeah, I was saying I want a waterfall in my office. Ooh, let's get one of those. Cool, right? Or for the front door. Get a waterfall, yeah. It's the sound of running like, water know, is very relaxing. Have, like, Buddha in it or whatever? Yeah, 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 get one of those. Or a koi pond, maybe? Toss some, toss some koi in there? Yeah. Koi, I think I feel like koi fish are really expensive. expensive. Yeah. Whoa. There's Rogers Hornsby, wow. game cool. used relic. That's a nice one. Nice one for the Cardinals. That goes to Attila. Yeah. I, have to, 
have to like check for like rogue minis that might be sticking to the backs. Some of, yeah, it's weird. Some you go for a while without like a mini drought. Yeah. It's like there's a short print inside or something. No Cinder Guard relic for the Mets. That goes to Jersey Joe P. Oh, the Dodger game's delayed. We've only had the gold hot box. Yeah, we saw a gold hot box in the last break. Gold cases, but I don't think any silver yet. You think gold would be more rare than silver? Yeah, what's up with that? Come on, maybe it's like a platinum. Hmm. Yeah, what I want is like a train that goes around the entire store. What's the stocking challenge? Oh, you put like one of those stockings on your face. That's it? Yeah. But I think it's like... Oh, you have to blow out a candle while wearing pantyhose on your head. Oh, all right. Don't you... Isn't that how they suffocate people? No, I don't think you can suffocate. That's, that, that's what they... Sometimes you can wear those when you're like robbing a bank robbing or something. A bank. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. In Breaking Bad, I think they wore those one time. Oh yeah, I remember last year they had crypto cards. I don't think we've had any this year. All right, let's check the backs of these to see if there's any that are hand numbered. All these minis will ship, of course. And we did sell that non-baseball, non-sports spot. So that person will get all these little puppies here. No, if the craziest ones were when they, so this is what happened. Like, I think it was three or four years ago, they hid these one ones inside the cover of the box. Oh, right. I, I do remember that. And it that. was four weeks after it came out. People found out. So people were going Who knows trash. how many we've thrown yeah, away. Yeah, we could have thrown out a lot. <laughs> no, this was only a few years ago. We were breaking. Oh, it was really recent, yeah. And someone was like, yeah, you got to check, you got to check the, the, literally check the tops of the box. You had to rip open the box. <laughs> we threw away a lot, I think. Because we didn't know. That, you know? It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't publicized until, people didn't find out until much later. And we're like, oh, man. <laughs> All right, there's Chris Taylor. Jersey for the Dodgers. Bill, with my Dodgers. Chris Taylor just hit the IL. Got hit on the hand the other night. I want to, Matthew, I want to see a one-of-one one egg card as well. It's like a egg relic. Oh, a, a piece of the eggshell? Yeah, an actual egg that was the most photographed. I wonder if it's still around. That egg? Yeah, yeah I wonder egg. if that guy saved the egg, yeah. That's like those ones where it's like, this macaroni and cheese looks like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and they you sell have to it save, yeah, for you, have like a million dollars. you have to save that macaroni, somehow preserve that macaroni and cheese. Yeah. We got an autograph coming up. Ooh, that's a good one. Jeopardy Games. Oh, is that him? Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Nice. Sports gambler turned uh, Jeopardy zillionaire. That's a good one. I'm surprised they got him in there so quick. And that goes to Jim Bly, who has the non-baseball spot. Nice. What a run. I'm surprised no one has done that strategy before, though, that really high-risk double jeopardy strategy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Or they just, they did the strategy, but they weren't answering They weren't the successful, right? yeah. But they're usually, they're like usually in the middle of the table. They're not always like the hardest questions, you know what I mean? Oh, I never so, did. So, I feel like if you're at, like at jeopardy level, it sort of makes sense. I mean, like, why not just bet it all? There might be middle level for you elitists. I guess so. Because... Well, there was a lot of like Jeopardy traditionalists who were like, "Oh, yeah, you, you can't bet at all." It's like, "Well, no. Who says you can't? Of course yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. You're at no. ten thousand dollars. All of a sudden, like this, you'll be at twenty. Yeah, I'm good at Sports Jeopardy, hosted by Dan Patrick. Sports Jeopardy is great. That's I a great show. I'm terrible at, at Olympics and college sports. Like those, I don't know. Yeah, the about. Olympics are hard. Like wrestling is yeah. kind of hard. Yeah, and then they kind of get into college a lot. 
some like random golf question. College basketball, I'm okay, but the rest. College football. College basketball always is hard for me. It's always hard. It's yeah. like this number four seed. Or like this <laughs> UNLV team had this bump of bluff. Yeah, and you're like, come on. This player was There's D. Awesome. Gordon. Mariners. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we've seen any player autos yet, huh? Couple. From this case? From this case? Did we? No. From the last couple cases we did. You hit three Brewers autographs. That's right. That we had a few Brewers autos in that first case. Aguilar, Burns, and Hader. Then I hit a couple. There's a lot of a lot of random quirky autos in this stuff too, Logan. This is a this is one of those sets. There aren't too many autographs in each case in the first place. And then there's a lot of like non baseball players no too. Non it's all baseball autographs. So it's really just kind of random, yeah. yeah. Chipper Jones relic. But in addition to the ball players, you get those other guys too. Scientists, poker players, Jeopardy winners. That goes to Jim Bly and the Braves. Chip off the old block. Let's look at the backs of these. Matthew Stubblefield saying Clevenger throwing heat. Again right now. So what what are what are the Indians gonna do? For a long time, I think a lot of people were like, oh the Indians are gonna start selling everybody off. But I feel like in recent weeks, they've been playing some good baseball. So maybe they won't be sellers. There's Horseshoe Falls. Wow. See, that's one. Look at the boat in there. I want to go there. Where, where is this? Canada. Uh-huh. I see. 168, 167 feet. Huh. Would you jump in that and survive? I think you could, right? No, you'd be dead. Really? Oh yeah, the, the 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 water. I mean, if you were just like, without like a contraption, without like a barrel around you, yeah, just, just by yourself, no, yeah, you'd be dead. Suit. You'd be dead. Just a bathing suit, you'd be dead. That undertow so. will drag you right under, under, spin you around. You couldn't even get out. You drowned, or you, you drowned, or your head will hit a rock, and you're, it'll just yeah. be like, it'll just be like, just like a little spot of red, right there. <laughs> and then the boat people dead. won't even notice. Right. They're too busy taking selfies and you'll be dead. <laughs> too busy getting married or whatever. All right, yeah, too busy doing marriage proposals. There's like party boats. Oh, oh yeah, there's got to be party boats. Go Are there party there. boats out there? Jet skis. Go, go do the horseshoe and like have a booze boat. There's Mark McGuire. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, choked up. Attila with the Cardinals. Like the tropical frames. Like the palm trees on it. And stuff. Oh yeah, the frames are great. Remember that uh, egg? <laughs> it's just egg. Um, remember uh, what's gonna call it? We pulled an old bird out of Ginter. It was in a frame, and it was like an original Ginter card from like the oh, 1800s, yeah, yeah, and it was like a bird. Yeah, I do remember that. That was pretty awesome. All right, there's in bloom. Some of these you can plant, Is apparently. Nirvana song? Yeah, also a Nirvana, Nirvana song. There's some copyright issues there. Yeah, if we get copyright, we're just saying. It. I know. YouTube will be like. Ehrnt. Oh come on. I always wondered how that there how you go. that works. That copyright. Is crazy. Someone has to own something and make money off of it. I know, but how did the technology work? Oh, the technology, yeah. literally how that works? Yeah. There's Shane Bieber. Ooh, World S or not World Series, All-Star Game MVP. That's right. That goes to the tribe. That'll be for Jordan Hope, Last Spot Mojo. 
Yeah, like how it, like if I started singing that song, would it detect it? Maybe if you were just too good. If like Ariana Grande was here and doing covers, yeah. like we'd probably get singing her own songs, we'd probably get in trouble. Or is it the instruments, instrumentals that do it? Oh, did I just grab these minis and not even show the backs of them? I think so. I think you showed them. No, there was a smaller stack that I put away. Oh. There you go. In this card I've already shown. Yeah, party tubing. Oh man, tubing is so fun. Should we build a lazy river in here? You know what's fun? Oh, la I love lazy rivers. Lazy rivers are fantastic. Except like the kind of gross ones. You don't want to go to a gross lazy river. <laughs> because like, yeah, you people know, drinking and stuff. just boozing and stuff. Boozing it up and peeing in the lazy river and just <laughs> recirculating. No, you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. Is white water after? Oh, I've not done that. It's I definitely want to do that. I did it in Colorado Springs. It's Ooh, awesome. It's nice. Very refreshing. Uh, there's the chili pepper eating challenge. Do they have like a water bucket challenge and stuff? They might. There's Hillary Knight, U.S. hockey player. Relic for, the, for Jim Bly, the non-baseball spot. Oh, look at that English bulldog. <laughs> look at that guy. Yeah, I think they had the pug last year. That's probably why. They had did they had its own set. I think. The, yeah, the, the, the pug was like short printed. Yeah. It was like the hardest one to get. It was like one out of every 5,000 packs. And I was like, <laughs> F that. And then I was going to buy the pug set. And then I was just like, no way. I'm paying 300 bucks a pop. Like, <laughs> now, maybe it's, it's... I, yeah, it probably, probably drops. I could probably find a pug really. No, all the, all the pug fans are probably just collecting. Yeah. They're just sitting in their houses now. <laughs> yeah. You know, how everyone, everyone always thinks their team is underrepresented yeah. in these sets. I'll just be like, tops. Pugs. Next, next convention we go to, I'll raise my hand, be like, where, where are the pugs in the set? Me too, Mothra. I went once when I was a kid as well. I haven't, I haven't been since. All right. Next box topper is going to be Chris Bryant. I've only hit those box toppers. Too. No autograph ones yet. Next stack. Keep that right there. Ooh. There's a wood mini on top. And there's Ian Happ for the Cubs. Jim Bly with the Cubbies. Wow. It's old school, too. It's Whitey Ford. One of one wood mini. Look at that. That is really nice. And that goes to Edward with the Yankees. Edward, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! We'll set it, set it, set it aside right here. All right. Egg. You don't like eggs? Eggs are great. It's good for you. Did you like that this egg though? The egg that's in the set? I didn't like that egg actually. It's the keyboard again. Poor keyboard. I barely touched it. Keyboard just getting getting Keyboard lives matter, dude. Oh, if someone needs us to type, we're not going to be typing until I open these three. <laughs> Maybe
Maybe the keyboard just was like, I can't take it anymore. This damn egg <laughs> Yeah, the, the keyboard's like, this is it. I'm I done. Any I'm likes. Jump, jumping off the ledge. Yeah, keyboard doesn't get likes. Jim Bly with the Nationals. Put the batteries back in. Like Kevin Rode, what's going on? You want to buy the Brewers for opting. And then, yeah, Rory sniped them all. Yeah, you have a talk with him. And you should hear Rory when his team is taken in one break. And now he's the guy Rory taking them in all breaks. Seven cases? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I, I got to price the Brewers higher. Man. That's what it's telling me. <laughs> yeah, price the Brewers higher. The, Brewers. They'll be special. Like, Kevin Rode will get regular prices. Rory will get <laughs> Rory will get Brewer super fan prices. Yeah, instead of a coupon code, it's a... It's, a <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, we know, we've noticed <laughs> that you are Rory Wagner. <laughs> we add 20%. Yeah. Your order is actually $25 for the Brewers instead of 20 bucks for the Brewers. That Optic, I think, is going to be really nice. Yeah, There's Optic Optic is pretty solid. Two autograph hot boxes per case, which is means five autos in each. And then there's two Prism hot boxes, which is 20 numbered cards in each. Yeah, that's going to be, so gonna be a lot. Ooh. Hot boxes in the whole case. We've got mini autograph Ramon Loriano. That is for the Oakland A's, Walter with the Athletics. I think Yelich might be tops exclusive. Maybe I'm is he? Hmm. Might be wrong. George Springer. How did it get so toasty? Very toasty. Toast. Untoast it. we got to untoast it. Well, then the Very sun, the, when it sunsets, it just blazes right through that window. That, I was so confused by what you meant because I was, you said, oh, like, yeah. when the sun sets, so I'm like, when it's wasn't dark. Very clear. <laughs> no, no, yeah. When the but sun starts to set, yeah, it sets right where the ocean is and yeah, just yeah. blasts right through that open space and then cooks this room. Yeah. It is very, it's like a hot box. It is. Like I think we, when we get those new lights you were talking about, yeah, I love those new lights. I think yeah. those, those will reduce Smart reduce the temperature quite a bit. All right. Minis. And I'll probably post a, another team random, so if anybody wants a team... I have two boxes left to open. So, like 10 minutes. No, we're a little far away from Optic. Robert Probably Grace. about two and a couple half hours. hours. Yeah, a couple hours. We have there, another Ginter after There's this. the rough schedule right there. Yeah. So, we still have like at least maybe a couple hours to go. So if you look at the schedule in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that we have... Valiant's at 8.30. That's sold out. Okay, that, so that's sold out. So that's we really only have like an hour left at the end of the broadcast. Yes, that's perfect time for Football Mixer Don if people want to do that. Kyle Freeland goes to Johnny and the uh, Rockies. So we are running out of time. So... If, oh, yeah, the keyboard's dead. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I was just going to add the Valiant. But we are running out of time. So Valiant is actually in that 8.30 time slot you see in the chat. I think the keyboard did it itself. So. It just didn't, couldn't handle it anymore. It's too hot. I was, Rory. I was. We had it's 10 people all, mad at you. All of my smack rules. talk, I will always be happy to say it into their faces as well, Rory. Rory, Kevin Rode was not happy with you. Because you took all the, you bought all the brewers. Now I know how Rory gets when someone buys out all the brewers. So that was that was very interesting. Man, if someone buys out the buys out the brewers or the Bucks in a break, Rory's just like Man, Bush Bush League, someone buying out all these teams all at once. Unbelievable. Blah 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 blah. And then we said we we're gonna price the brewers. We're gonna price the brewers higher for you, Rory. 
We've got Dean. James Dean? No, Austin Dean for the Marlins. That goes to Jordan Hope. Last spot mojo. I know Kevin Rode wanted to buy the Brewers. Punisher Prime Vince okay, wanted yeah. to buy the Brewers. There's the In Bloom Mini Egg. I like those dogs. The Dachshund? Yeah. Look at those big old ears, too. Love them. Funny. Come on, baby. Yeah. I think someone. Gold Parallel Hotbox. No, don't tip over Gold Parallel Hotbox. You got it? Oh, box toppers. Hit the bell. Oh, the bell, the box toppers. What's going on here? Oh, is that why Kevin Road is is salty? Because he didn't buy that, that ultimate? Come on, Kevin. Scared money don't make money. When it gets to a temperature, it just stops. I, was told, I was told not to touch that for the step. All right, let's keep going. We got Jake Mintz. Jake Mintz, who is a baseball blogger. Got Todd Helton. Oh, you got the Fossil card? I, someone else mentioned that too. I think John Ogray had mentioned that Roy had pulled, that Roy's shop had pulled the uh, Fossil card. What was it a Fossil of, Kevin? Let's get a look at the backs of these mini. Oh, of a whale? Like a prehistoric whale? Or like a, just like a regular, regular blue whale? Killer whale. Humpback whale. All right, here's the topper. And it's Christian Yelich. Let's do this box right here. Ginter cards are very slippery. You gotta watch out for these. There's Machado. I think we have a couple more to post, Curtis. I'm not sure when we're gonna do that. I actually don't think we have another time for another Ginter tonight. By the time all said and done. There's Javier Baez, but tomorrow. Jim Bly with Baez. Yes, some of these box toppers can be autographed. Ends. I don't remember any Astros, Logan, but I will be doing a recap video at the end of this that people can watch as well if they miss a chunk of the break. Um, well, we got a Whitey Ford wood right here. 
And that was a one of one. And then I forget who Nick pulled for the for his wood card. But we pulled one in the case one. This is break three. So we pulled one in one, and then one in this current one, break three. And Whitey Ford was nice. Oh, and there's our rip card right here. It's Robin Yount, Brew Crew, 46 out of 75. That goes to Lou Reeves. Nice, Lou. Rip or keep? Or we'll just send it to you. We'll let you decide once you have it in your hands. There's English Bulldog. God, Jose Ramirez for the Indians. That's our assumption, Trey. I think the box top of rib cards probably do have regular size cards in them. Because the regular size box or rib cards have minis in them, so I feel like it would be the same. Min oh, there's minis in the box top rib cards, says Matt, but there's three of them. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll find one of those at some point in our adventures today, our Ginter adventure. Let's look at the backs of these minis to see if any of these are hand numbered. Like that one. Yes, 20 out of 25, Charlie Morton for the Rays. I think that's it. Let's set the minis over here. All right, box topper. is going to be Javier Baez, another one for the Cubbies. That's going to be for Jim Bly. All right, we've got three boxes to go. We've got this pile, this right here on that top cam, and then we got one more box right over here. Got Re Ray Ray Butcher. There you go. Stand up. Sandcastle building. And we got Freddie Freeman relic for Jim and the Braves. Nice, a yellow lab. Oh, come on, Minnie. Come on, Evan Longoria. Oh, come on, Matt Chapman. All these mini cards are sliding out all over the place. There's Freddie Freeman again.
do the mini check here. There it is. <laughs> check for those minis. There's a black lab. Nice. And we've got the stand up Ray. I'm going to go with Ray. Ray Butcher. Comedian. That goes to Jim Bly and the non baseball spot. What happened last year, Eric, with the wood cards? I don't remember. Was there a it was a debacle? I don't remember doing too much of Ginter last year, folks. Maybe we did, I don't know. Look at the backs of these first. Oh, no wood cards. Oh, so, so it was on a checklist, but there just weren't any minis. This was brought up top. So what did top say? There's Pelu Pelusi, Pelus, Pelusi Falls. In uh in Washington. There you go. There's Lou. He says he's gonna hold on the rip. So yeah, I like it. I like having uh I think you I think I, I like sending it anyway. I, I prefer that. And then you can make your own decision. Don't let the peer pressure get to you. Stay strong, Lou, if that's your decision. And there's Jackie Bradley Jr., Red Sox, Walter with the Red Sox. Uh, no, I think the Valiant, there's a Valiant. Um, I think Valiant is in that 8.30 Pacific time slot. Which I haven't had a chance to add to the schedule yet. And then I think maybe Optic after that. So we might only have time for maybe one more longer break or a few shorter break, a few shorter breaks. Yeah, around nine o'clock maybe for Optic and that'll probably eat about an hour and then we'll pretty much be in the last hour of the broadcast after that. Is the keyboard live? Oof. We had two keyboard scares, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's okay though. You did these? I did. Those are done. This is the gold uh, border hot box right here, folks. Obviously, all of those will ship. And nice Ozzy Alvius mini autograph. That's strong. That's for Attila. I'm going to attempt your last name, Attila. Fenny Vesey. I think I got it. I think I nailed it. I think I nailed it. Optic Baseball number two, I think. That's where I think. So I think people are going to be surprised by optic. We could probably squeeze another one, in a second Before optic in tonight. Two optic? No. They're all in the things that got delivered today, I'm sure. 
Potato sack no, racing, no, classic. Not good, then. You can plant a card, yes, that, that is a fact. Probably Friday, Saturday. Sunday. Monday. There you go, so we're getting more Ginter a little bit later this week. Probably getting it Friday, I'll probably post it Saturday or something. There you go. I know everyone. Everyone's saying Jaspies has the best prices, and we're like, wait, what? <laughs> There's Rugnet Odur for Stephen Surrey and the Rangers. Um, we start at three o'clock Pacific tomorrow, Radical. Just let me finish this box, and I'll come back there. Jeez. <laughs> it's, not, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Although I think five cases that's a lie. I did not say that. Whoa. Sitting on a gold mine of Ginter. I think, I don't think we have any more, but might be able to get some more Friday. I think there was like five at the start of the day. Four or five at the start of the day is what I saw. <laughs> Breezing through these now. Although I think, folks, uh, not not I think I know that I think next, no, starting this weekend with Jason, we're going to be going live an hour earlier. Just hold on a second. So we'll be we'll be going from two o'clock Pacific starting next week. This one has a writing so autograph. I'm just feeling it. I didn't see it. Ooh, I'm just feeling it. Just feeling it. All right. There's Juan Soto. That'll be for the Nationals, Jim Bly. And perfect timing here is the last box. Good luck, everybody. All right, Nick, Nick Jaspi thinks this pack right here coming into the shot is the red ink auto spot. He didn't see it. He was just, just predicting it. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box. Reese Hoskins relic for Matt Andish and the Phillies. Mini frame relic. Framed mini relic. I don't know which which in which order to put that. There's the corgi. Oh, come on, lost language. Ooh, a David Ortiz rip card. 23 out of 75. That goes to Walter and the Red Sox. Rip it or keep it, Walter. Still? Yeah, Vince mentioned that earlier too, that the Dodgers game, Dodgers Phillies game was delayed. All the cops are like, all the police are like, sir, you guys are pulling too much heat. Kip says, can't rip. Ortiz has been ripped enough. Poor David Ortiz. Yeah, what is this all about? Yeah. Huh. All right, good for them. That giant pumpkin. Crazy. There's Thor. Wow, Arthur's reporting that the Diamondbacks have put up 14 runs, put up 14 runs in the first three innings. 
What, who, who did I, I hope I didn't pick anybody in that game. I did not. French Bulldog, <laughs> love those guys' ears. Oh, Nick predicted a big hit in this pack right here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah it's like the fifth cop car I've heard. No, they blocked the whole PCH. It's empty. What? There's some crazy stuff around this store, I'll tell you that. You won't be able to see it from here. No. After the break, though. After the break, I'll go to look at it. Ooh, what is happening? What's happening? I think I saw a horse running. You saw a horse? Yeah. Wow. They blocked off PCH? We're going to have to see what happened, folks. All right. Last box topper looks like Shohei Otani. Nice. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, Alan and Ginter. Pick your team number three in the books from jazbeescasebreaks.com. More coming up. We'll see you for that one. Bye-bye.